Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most rewatched scenes in action movies. For this list, we'll be looking at scenes in action movies that are entertaining or stylish or have some behind the scenes element that'll make you want to watch it over and over again. We will be excluding superhero movies though because those deserve a list of their own. And also, if you want to tell us in the comments which action movie scene you rewatch over and over again, please do so. Let's get to it. Number 20, Parkour Chase, Casino Royale. What a brilliant introduction to the new era of 007. In his first action scene as James Bond, Daniel Craig chases his target through a construction yard, parkouring over buildings, cranes, scaffolding, and more as they fight in one of the most stunning cinematic experiences ever seen in a Bond movie. Interestingly, the actor who played Bond's target in this scene Sébastien Foucault is an actual freerunner and early developer of parkour. Everyone involved went all out in making this opening action scene one to not only rival previous Bond movies, but to surpass them. Number 19, Hot Gates Battle, 300. This beautifully stylized scene captures the mood and aesthetic of Zack Snyder's 300 perfectly. The brutal combat as the Persians try to push through the Spartans showcases the strength of the so-called 300, setting the stage for why this movie is so well regarded. It's not just the action, but the badass one-liners that the Spartan characters utter while kicking butt that make this movie so delightful. They look thirsty! <laughs> well, let's give them something to drink! Interestingly, according to history, those laconic statements were very in character for the Spartans. And indeed, the word laconic is derived from Laconia, the region that Sparta ruled. It's fun to think that the real Spartans could have been just as dramatic as Gerard Butler. Madness. This is Sparta! Number 18, opening chase, Baby Driver. Bell bottom. Bell bottom. <laughs> Sometimes a director utilizes their medium perfectly and manages to craft a scene that will stick with viewers for years to come. The opening of Baby Driver is one of those scenes. The song Bell Bottoms accompanies Baby's incredible driving as he helps his criminal friends escape their successful bank robbery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Apparently, this opening chase and its musical accompaniment were the very first inklings of what this movie would be, as Edgar Wright used to sit and listen to Bell Bottoms and imagine an elaborate car escape. It's an amazingly inventive scene, and definitely worth a few watches to see how precisely they match the beat of the music with the action on the screen. Number 17, Stealing the Vault, Fast Five. Here's another epic car chase to make the list. While the Fast and Furious franchise is responsible for a lot of incredible action scenes, this one is just so creative. The characters steal a bank vault, attach it to the back of their vehicle, and then use the vault as a very large bludgeon and shield in their escape. This epic car chase couldn't be more visually entertaining to watch, as their enemies get smashed up by the very vault they're trying to take back. The typical style and flash of the Fast and Furious series are on full display in this incredible scene. Number 16, Temple Escape, Raiders of the Lost Ark. 
it was hard to choose just one scene from this legendary series, what with Indy's fantastic tank chase sequence as well. But this classic temple escape spawns so many homages and parodies that it's not hard to see why it's on the list. This opening scene sets the tone for the movie, and indeed for the entire Indiana Jones franchise. The famed explorer cleverly sniffs out traps before being forced to run from the crumbling temple and the rolling boulders. so much fun to rewatch because of its classic nature, but also because it's fun to see how many traps and obstacles Indiana Jones must overcome in such a short period of time. Number 15. Boarding the Bus – Speed This scene at the beginning of Speed is intense for a number of reasons. Watch the road! Oh, yeah. The stakes are already high for the characters, but Keanu Reeves insisted on doing this stunt, jumping from a moving car into a moving bus, even rehearsing it in secret so the director wouldn't know. He surprised director Jan de Bont by doing it himself the day of the shoot, which we imagine was a highly terrifying moment for the Hollywood director. This scene is one of the greatest of the classic 90s action movies, starring a terrific action star who put himself in danger to get the shot. Whoa, shit. Whoa, shit. Number 14. Church Fight – Kingsman – The Secret Service This scene gets a ton of praise, and it's well-deserved. Shot with very few cuts, the fight choreography had to be tight, and with dozens of people involved and a camera moving in and out of the action, that is not easy. But it's worth it because this scene is a masterpiece. Colin Firth's character Galahad gets a chance to shine and show off just how incredible a super spy he really is, in some of the most brutal finishers we've seen. And the icing on the cake is Leonard Skinner's free bird accompanying the action. The scene is so well made and fun that it simply never gets old. Number 13. Bruce Lee vs. Chuck Norris – Way of the Dragon This is the movie where the legend of Chuck Norris began. All Chuck Norris jokes aside, this was the man's film debut. And what an entrance onto the stage. A legendary almost 10-minute martial arts fight between these two is sure to get a rewatch. Interestingly, Bruce Lee popularized a new move during this fight with Chuck Norris called the Oblique Kick, which would go on to be used by many MMA fighters who cited Lee as their inspiration. This fight is fun, brutal, and hilarious at times, with Bruce ripping out Norris's chest hair. Truly, this is a battle of legends. Number 12. Corridor Fight – Old Boy Continuous takes are tricky to pull off, and not always worth the time and money, but when they work, they work. <laughs> this three-minute fight through a crowded corridor took 17 takes in three days to pull off, and there are no cuts or edits at all, save a digitally rendered knife in the back. <laughs> It's impressive to do such a long, continuous take, but with so many actors involved in the scene, the choreography had to be tight and performed well, and they blew it out of the water. The result is a scene that is incredibly rewatchable, filled with brutal fighting from a man armed only with a hammer. Number 11. Infiltrating the Vault – Mission Impossible This iconic scene from the original spawned a number of copycat scenes but it is a marvelous scene in its own right. 
While the Mission Impossible series has plenty of incredible action scenes that Tom Cruise really did, such as the terrifying time he hung onto a plane in Rogue Nation, this one is so classic and so fresh. It features Tom Cruise doing his own stunts, hanging precariously from a rope as he cracks the vault. The tension in this scene as the protagonists have to deal with close calls and the fear that things could go wrong make this eminently rewatchable. <laughs> Number 10. The 10 Black Belts – Ip Man Based on the life of the legendary martial artist and teacher of Bruce Lee, Ip Man, this incredible action scene pits the hero against 10 black belts in one of the most breathtaking fight scenes on our list. The dazzling choreography, the brutal sound effects as it breaks bones and snaps necks, and the dramatic music all combine to make an unforgettable tour de force. <laughs> Seeing Donnie Yen, an incredible martial artist in his own right, take center stage is the cherry on top of this perfect scene. Number 9. Kitchen Fight – The Raid 2 This brutal final duel to the death is tightly choreographed and shot well. The long kitchen fight begins with fists, but ends in deadly fashion with knives. <laughs> It's tracked well by great camera shots that don't have too many cuts in between them, letting the brutal and incredible fight speak for itself. This scene is on the rewatch list due to how many great moves there are and how evenly matched it is. At no point in this fight is it clear who's going to come out on top, as both characters give it their all and hold on by the skin of their teeth to survive. Number 8. Treetop Fight – Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon This beautiful movie has other incredible scenes, such as the duel between Yushu Lian and Zhao Long. While that is a fantastic set piece, what makes the treetop fight worth a rewatch is the knowledge that the actors are really up there in the trees, suspended by wires dueling it out. This stunt work gives the fight a mystical, ethereal quality, as if the two opponents are legendary spirits who are light as a feather. Seriously, watch this scene again and just try to imagine the courage and skill you'd need to pull off this scene. <sighs> Number 7. Jumping Off the Tower – Die Hard Honestly, this whole movie is worth numerous rewatches. It's just that good. While we had a number of great scenes to choose from, like the ever-quoted yippee Kaye where our hero intimidates Hans Gruber. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee Kaye, mother John McClane's leap from the tower is incredibly iconic. Interestingly, this scene was one of the very first Bruce Willis actually filmed. McLean's death-defying escape from the roof is one to rewatch as the stakes are high, it is shot extraordinarily well, and it would come to inspire many homages. This scene could also double as one of the most rewatched scenes in a Christmas movie, too. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Number 6. Rotating Hallway – Inception this mind-bending action scene was one of the highlights of this inventive movie when it came out. While a lot of the movie is set up in exposition, it all pays off once the action gets going. Seeing the different levels of characters going through their own struggles, which affect the others, adds a layer of complexity. The van flips, so Joseph Gordon-Levitt's dreaming character needs to now contend with his enemies in a hallway that flips along with the moving vehicle. It's all 
very creative, and the blaring soundtrack in the back adds to the suspense. Number 5. The Crazy 88 – Kill Bill Volume 1 while the bride doesn't need to slay exactly 88 enemies in this scene, it's still around 40, and to beat those odds is impressive to say the least. This scene is so rewatchable because seeing Uma Thurman tear through the Yakuza like an absolute beast is such a joy. <laughs> This unbelievable scene took eight weeks to shoot, and was made mostly with practical effects that would have been used in classic Chinese action films of the 70s as an homage to them. It's hard not to feel for the bride and how exhausted she looks after absolutely annihilating the crazy 88, realizing she has one more foe. Number 4. The Chase Begins Sandstorm, Mad Max, Fury Road. This whole movie is one long car chase, and an astounding one at that. But the beginning of the chase for Imperator Furiosa and the epic Sandstorm are some of the best scenes in the movie. The truly amazing thing about this movie is just how much of it is made with practical effects, which really lends the movie a gritty, realistic feel. The cars are all real, as are most of the costumes, and a lot of the stunts were done with the cars. Knowing the hard, grueling work that went into some of these shots out in the desert really makes you want to re-watch just to see the hard work the actors and crew are partaking in. Club Shootout – John Wick We know, the entire John Wick series belongs on this list, but this scene is a perfect representation for the film saga. John Wick takes out an entire club of goons in a masterful display of skill and choreography, and all of it is taken with a steady camera and no quick cuts. The club music in the background adds an interesting dynamic to the work. The most re-watchable elements are just seeing all the interesting and realistic quirks in this fight. Everyone has to reload, and sometimes an enemy gets a hit in on John. This realism is what makes them so much fun to revisit. Number 2. Motorcycle Chase – Terminator 2 – Judgment Day this heart-pounding chase sequence follows immediately from the mall scene, where it's revealed that Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator is actually here to save John Connor. Get down. <laughs> While that scene is also legendary, it's this motorcycle chase that Terminator fans revisit over and over again. one of the first times we see the Terminator as a good guy in action. Interestingly, a river had to be redirected for this scene, as they were filming in what would otherwise be wet canals. The Terminator series is well known for its incredible action scenes, but this one has the greatest rewatch value. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bullet Time – The Matrix It's the scene with a thousand references, parodies, and homages. While modern action movie fans may not see the appeal, when this scene happened in theaters back in 1999, people's minds were blown. 
The filmmakers dubbed this bullet time, a method of using slow motion in a scene while keeping the camera at normal speed to show the heightened senses and movements of the character Neo. This scene may be one of the most rewatched in history, and certainly one of the most inspirational scenes in modern action movies, and for good reason. It was a trailblazer and set the stage for hundreds of action movies to come. Two out of the three top three involve Keanu Reeves, and he's in another entry on this list. What can I say? He's a, an action movie god, I don't know. Be sure to let us know in the comments which action movie scene you rewatch over and over again, or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton or on my YouTube channel. See ya.